In Susan B. Anthony List v. Driehaus, we'll see whether an advocacy group had standing to challenge a law that criminalized making false statements about political candidates. In 2010, Susan B. Anthony List, or SBA, publicly stated that any member of Congress who voted for the Affordable Care Act supported taxpayer-funded abortion. SBA attempted to display a billboard claiming that Ohio Congressman Steve Driehaus, quote, voted for taxpayer-funded abortion, unquote. Driehaus threatened legal action against SBA, so the billboard company refused to display the billboard. Driehaus filed a complaint with the Ohio Elections Commission, claiming that SBA violated Ohio law when it falsely stated that Driehaus voted for taxpayer-funded abortion. Under Ohio law, it was a crime for anyone to make a false statement about a political candidate's voting record. The commission found there was probable cause that SBA violated the law, and the commission scheduled a hearing for a later date. SBA filed a lawsuit seeking declaratory and injunctive relief before the commission's hearing, claiming that Ohio's law violated SBA's First Amendment rights. The district court stayed the action until after the commission's hearing. SBA sought a motion for an injunction pending an appeal, but the Court of Appeals denied SBA's motion. SBA and Driehaus agreed to postpone the commission's hearing until after the election. In November of 2010, Driehaus lost his election and withdrew his complaint against SBA. SBA amended his complaint and argued that Ohio's law was unconstitutional, both facially and as applied. SBA claimed that its speech about Driehaus had been chilled. SBA also claimed that it intended to engage in substantially similar activities in the future and that it faced the possibility that its speech would be chilled and burdened in the future. The district court consolidated SBA's lawsuit with a similar claim brought by another advocacy group. The district court dismissed both suits as non-justiciable, finding that the groups failed to present concrete injuries. SBA appealed, but the Court of Appeals affirmed. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.